Hello, um, so my artifact is Bahamgur fights the Karg. So here's an image of Bahamgur fights the Karg, um, and the Karg is a horned wolf. Um, this artifact is from the great Mongol Shahnama, it was made in, um, 1330 to 1340 in um, Iran. It's made of ink, colors, gold, and silver on paper. It's a folio and it's 41.5 by 30 centimeters. So for context of this artifact, the Shahnama is the Persian Book of Kings. It's a, it's a very long epic poem. Um, it was composed by the poet Ferdowsi in around 1000 CE, and it incorporates many oral histories of Persia before Islam and its past heroes. So the subject of the painting, um, or of the image Bahamgur, which is seen on the horse, um, was the king of the Sasanian Empire that ruled Persia from the centuries. Um, just prior to the arrival of Islam. Um, he was given the nickname Baham Gur um, because the, a Gur refers to um, an Onager, which is a type of wild donkey that is one of the world's fastest animals. Um, and he was known as a great hunter of these animals. Um, also, like the the painting. Um, according to the Shahnama, the king of India named Shangal recognized Bahamgur's abilities and sought his help in ridding India of the frightening card. Um, more context. Um, the Mongols invaded Persia from 1219 to 1256, um, came from the eastern Asian plains where open grasslands had encouraged a nomadic lifestyle of herding horsemanship and fierce warfare and the Ilkhanid Ilkhan, Ilkhan period was the um, you can see in the image here like the empire that um, the book of Persia, the Persia was made under um, also the um, the image of Bahakarg is part of the book of a book illustration it is um, a which became a major art form for both religious and secular texts in the Ilkhanid period. Since Mughals began as and largely remains nomadic peoples, the artworks be small and portable. The Mongols developed strong oral traditions of storytelling, which they gave them an appreciation for narrative art especially manuscripts with paints to accompany the stories. Illustrated manuscripts were also prestige items created in very sumptuous formats suitable for kings, princes, and members of the court. So here on the bottom, I have more, there's more examples of these types of illustrations. Um, next for form, the, um, this is the image itself is silver and gold accents over ink and opaque watercolor. Um, the full page of the of the book which the um, image is seen on is called a folio and it's surrounded by calligraphy. Um, calligraphy shows the calligraphy shows ideals of beauty in Islamic culture and draws on calligraphy's Inherent harmony and balance, spacing, proportion, and compositional evenness on the page. Um, oh. No, I got distracted. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, as well, um, you can see in the image um, a big um, 
Part of how we know that this is Baham Gur is the clothing and the accessories. He is shown on horseback and wears kingly garb with a golden crown, this garment, and an elegant golden pearl earring visible in his right ear. And he's also a warrior, um, holding a mace over his shoulder with a bow, sword, and arrows covered in a leopard skin hanging from his waist. Another important part of the form of this image is the uh, composition. A visual circuit is created around him um, in like a circular pattern here. Our eyes travel along the whole continuous arc of the tree branch and up to Baham Gur, um, whose glance leads our eyes back down across the vegetation and the body of the horse. Next, the function of um, this piece is, it's a book depicting a story from the Shahnama, the Persian Book of Kings. Um, and it's most likely a prestige item to show the owner's wealth and power. And here's another example of an illumination um, titled Six Horses from the 13th to 14th century China. So like, here's an, just another example of this type of work. Next, the content. Um, this um, image shows a lot of influence from other cultures. First being Eden with the worn and twisted trees, overlapping forms, creating spatial recession, rapidly brushed foreground vegetation, and a taste for asymmetry. There are also local influences apparent. Uh, Persia had a long artistic tradition of depicting heroes, kings, and hunters riding horses slain opponents. And then here's a, um, a small bit of the story of Barham Gur. Um, Gur and his men found the lair and saw the beast. His men besieged, your majesty, this is beyond any man's courage. Tell Shangal this can't be done. The hero, of course, went forward alone, first using his bow to weaken the card with arrows, then using his blade to cut off the card's head to present to Shangal. Um, next is some important vocab. So this is the Shahnama, also known as Shahname, a long poem written by the Persian poet Ferdarsi. Um, next is an illumination, which is part of an illuminated manuscript, formerly a handwritten book with painted decoration that's gold or silver, has colors, elaborate designs, and or miniature pictures. Necro, which is an individual leaf of paper or parchment, either loose as one of a series or forming part of a bound volume. And next is the Ilkhanid period, which is the Mon a Mongol dynasty that ruled over present day Iran in medieval Western Asia, 1256 to 1335. Thank you.